All right, we are live. And uh, if you haven't joined me, I've done a series of different Facebook Live videos. Right now, the one I'm doing is really focused on supporting local businesses during the holiday season. But this one kind of um, fits in two categories. So we also had a session earlier about Some Good News Evanston. And so the purpose of that was my newsfeed was really filled with a bunch of negative things and I noticed it was getting me down. So I wanted to talk to people that were doing good things. Like Mr. Rogers says, look, look at the helpers um, so that I could balance your feeds and you would see the positive things that people were doing for each other as well and not all the negative news and fighting and division. Um, so this one fits both. And before I get started, if you do have questions, you can put those in comments and I will try to raise those. If you're watching this after we're no longer live, you can still put questions in there and I'll try to get the answers for you. So today I am with the Giving Storeroom and we have the co-coordinators on right now, Loyandra Cooper and Jared Fry. Thank you for joining me, guys. Thank, Thank you. you for having us. Did I butcher your names or was that close? It was good. It was good. Okay. <laughs> um, so tell us a little bit more about the Giving Storm. I actually just found out about it. I don't know where I've been. So tell me first, let's start with what you've been doing during COVID over the last seven, eight months. Sure. So um, the Giving Storeroom is located here in Family Focus. It is the food pantry in Valerie D. Summers clothing closet that has been in existence in Family Focus for decades. We just um, branded it as the Giving Storeroom a little under two years ago. And that's when we became um, just managing and coordinating the space. Um, during COVID, what we have been doing is we have been um, giving out bags of groceries um, on Saturday mornings for um, those in the community. And we've been doing it um, outside of the building just so we can maintain uh, social distance and making sure that everybody's kept safe. But we provide groceries to those in need in the community. And there's a different process that um, we've been doing as opposed to when we were open uh, prior to COVID when um, people would be able to come into the building and help uh, have a personal shopper and kind of fill their grocery bags with what they need. But we are, again, a food pantry that exists on donations from the community, and we just are here to serve those in need. And so on the Saturdays, were you working with Clarence and Wendy at CNW Market for that? No. So or, we are. So uh, yes. Okay. Yes. So there's a lot of good stuff going on in Evanston, yeah. but we're just <laughs> So different Saturday morning food delivery. Right. So we don't deliver that. Yeah, they deliver. We don't deliver. Yeah. Yes. Well, there's was pickup too. Mm -hmm. I spoke wrong. They do some delivery, but okay. Um, so on Saturdays, you're providing food to the community. And yeah. so the clothing piece is not open right now with during COVID. Is that correct? Correct. Correct. During COVID, we have unfortunately had to um, not have our clothing piece open, but we have been getting a ton of donations. So we are uh, working with um, together and with our other partners trying to figure out how we can safely allow people to come and get um, their any clothing that they may need. On Saturday, we held a coat drive in um, with um, in conjunction with our food drive. And that was also outside. So that was an awesome thing. We had the Women's Club of Wilmette uh, sponsor that coat drive for us and allowed um, people to come and look for coats and um, other winter accessories outside on Saturday too. All right, that's great. Um, so you, you kind of already talked about what you do outside of COVID, that you have the clothing and uh, the food pantry. Anything else that we haven't covered yet? Um, no, I think that's about it. Yeah, we're we're definitely a food pantry, and we have the clothing. We have a clothing section available as well. It's closed currently, but during our big Saturday event that we had, a lot of volunteers were able to help us sift through over fifty bags of clothes. So as soon as things are a little bit more safe, we're looking forward to putting all of those clothes onto hangers and opening that up to the community. So we're able to provide clothing, be it for interviews or just regular everyday wear. And that's for kids, adults, all ages, right? Mm -hmm. We have um, children's, men's and women's clothes. Um, we're not currently taking donations of toys at this moment, but 
we're hoping when things are a little bit more safe that we can also open and extend that as well. Um, yeah, I, I think a lot of people have used this time to go through their closet and get rid of things. So that mm -hmm. must be where all those clothes are coming from. I sure have. I've brought in probably like four bags of clothes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and then each week, even though we're not you know, open to the community for that, we do have a few patrons that bring clothing as well. Um, so are you are you open to donations from people you said then for clothing donations? Clothing currently. Um, any food donations or <laughs> we have an abundance of food. Um, we're definitely still taking them. We're kind of putting a small pause just so that we can do an inventory of what we have and yeah. you know, let the community know what's most needed. But no, we're never stopping the request or the acceptance of donations. We're, we're extremely open to taking more. Yeah, we have seen an um, increased uh, desire, if you will, for paper goods and um, household cleaning products, diapers, feminine mm -hmm. hygiene products. So those things are awesome to have. And if people want to donate that, um, as well as food, we appreciate it. We do do uh, canned goods and non-perishable items only at the moment. Hopefully at the top of 2021, we'll be able to change that. Um, so we're working to to get that changed a little bit um, so we can include more in our um, food pantry. All right. Yeah, it's always helpful to know what's most useful for people. Mm -hmm. And I know fe feminine hygiene and diapers are both huge. Um, I remember earlier this year, there was a big diaper delivery that was coordinated between um, Evanston Cradle to Career and Evanston Rebuilding Warehouse received it, I think, because they had the space. And maybe you guys were involved in that, too. I can't remember all of the people that were involved there. But always, always important items. Yes, Absolutely. yes. Um, so people can also donate money to you as well, correct? Yes, yes. Um, those who are interested in um, making monetary donations, we um, accept checks made payable to Family Focus Evanston. And in the memo line, we can put the giving storeroom. Okay, I'm going to type that into comments um, to Family Focus Evanston. Yes. And then in the memo the giving storeroom, food pantry, or a clothing closet, whatever they want to put. But as long as it says the giving storeroom, we'll be good. <laughs> All right. So that is in comments, and we can see it up here, too. Um, and if they want to drop off clothing donations or um, some of those, like, paper goods, uh, diapers, personal hygiene, when and where should they do that? Yeah, so we um, appreciate all donations and we can accept donations. Uh oh, sorry. We can accept donations um, here at the building. We are here typically um, in the afternoon. So anytime between three, well, People can drop off donations um, between nine and four, Monday through Friday. The Giving Storeroom operates for the public on Saturday mornings. So we would um, appreciate if people would donate during then because we know we would be there and be able to um, accept the donations. But if they're coming out the time when we're not here during the week, they would just need to call the Family Focus Building and let the, let the desk know that they want to make a donation. Okay. Um. And you appreciate donations on Saturday between what time? Between nine and one? Yeah. Nine, nine and, and one. one. Okay. And then we can, of course, provide like the contact number mm -hmm. on Saturday that they can reach us at in the event that they want to schedule when they would drop that off. Absolutely, because we know Saturdays are busy for a lot of people. So when they contact us, whether that's by our email or our phone number, we can definitely set up some time for people to be able to drop off what they need. All right, that sounds great. Um, so in the, I didn't warn you guys about this, so you can take a second. But in the support local videos that I've been doing, I've been asking people to shout, give a shout out to one of their favorite Evanston businesses. So it could be a restaurant or a shop. Um, and, but you only get to pick one, um, and you, you, you one? one that 
either your favorite, some, someone that you hope will give you a freebie for giving them a shout out or uh, one that people might not know about that you wanna make sure people are aware of. Oh, wow. Do we each get to choose one? Each get to choose one, yep. I think so, you go first. Okay. <laughs> I want to shout out Claire's Corner Jamaican restaurant. It's on Emerson and Dodge. She has the best Jamaican food in Evanston. Um, ever since I was a, a high schooler, I would always go there and grab all the food I can. So I will <laughs> shout out Claire's Corner. All right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take another route. I'm going to shout out the Church Street Barber Shop. Um, my uncle had oh, worked one. there for years. Um, him and Mr. Sam at the barbershop, Sam Jr. I appreciate everything they do at the shop for those in the community. So I love, love, love them. I'm so, I hate driving past and not seeing them, seeing them in there doing haircuts, but they are definitely a staple in the community. So thank them for everything that they do. All right. Well, thank you for everything that you do. And if we get more questions, I will bring those to you. But again, stay safe. And thanks for joining me today. Absolutely, you. you too. Bye everyone. Oh, just a quick uh, up, update for everyone. All of these videos, including today, you'll be able to find on supportlocalevanston.com. So they get downloaded to YouTube, so you can go back to them, um, supportlocalevanston.com, an easy way to look at this one and see ones that you missed, so you can find out about some of those other stores as well. Thank you guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. Happy holidays to you.